What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I just... Okay, sugar, you can't do that. <laughs> hey, I'm vlogging. Mine. Mine. <laughs> Mine. Oh, mm, yours. <laughs> So I just spontaneously decided to start vlogging. It is the end of the day on Thursday. Is it Thursday, really? <laughs> and right now I'm currently, oh my goodness, you guys. I can't, you can't see me. I am having my brother help me hang up some vines on my wall because aesthetics, you know? So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I just felt like vlogging. So here we are, but my camera's about to die so I might have to stop. Um, putting him to work now, he just got back. Why are you laughing? You're gonna fall. <laughs> but I'm too short, so. Can you fall for me? Just so I can get some good content. <laughs> Close. It's, so here is the new setup. This is my little brother helped me set this up. Love it, it looks so cute. So, it is currently, I think it's like 7.30. Wow. Can you see that? It's literally 7.30 exactly, and I swear I didn't look at that before. I'm just... I'm in a good mood today. So I haven't wanted to vlog as much lately because I've been in just, just like not a good mood because I was stuck in the house for a long time. If you can tell by the title, I had COVID, and it was so much fun. Loved it for me. Not. Um, but I did want to talk about it a little bit, not too much. I don't want to rant. I literally made a video before of me talking about this, and I like ranted, and it was just like very not interesting so anyways um i had covid i had it pretty mildly i'd say me and my mom and my brother had it for sure for show sure. uh okay i always say um too much and i always you would be surprised at how many ums i edit out of these videos and i keep every time i do that i get annoyed with myself i'm like all right chill with the ums so anyways i can't i need to keep my train of thought coming back. oh my family got covid from church a family from our church had it um they didn't know so it wasn't their fault it's cool not mad but it did suck it lasted mine lasted about two weeks it was mostly my symptoms were mostly i had a really bad headache and was achy i had a slight fever off and on and i had a couple days of hard where it was hard to breathe and that was when it got the scariest for me i mean it was really annoying and i i really didn't feel good but um, compared to a lot of other people's cases or stuff that I've heard, it wasn't so bad. Um, it was just very annoying because I was so weak and when I thought I was gonna getting better, like starting to feel better, I would start feeling like crap a couple of hours later, so that was really annoying. And yeah, so that was basically my symptoms. Just migraine for like it lasted it was a headache that lasted for like four to five days, so it was pretty excruciating. And yeah, it was just really annoying, honestly. And then I got really freaked out when I couldn't breathe, but I had everyone that I knew who I could tell to pray for me. And the next day I felt better and didn't have that anymore. So thank you, Jesus. That was great. And then my brother had it and he literally only had it for a few days and his was the same thing, like headache, fever, like off and on, but it didn't, wasn't so bad. But my mother still has it. Um, it's been a roller coaster, honestly. I've been emotionally, emotionally, I said that weird. I've been emotionally, like, kind of drained, honestly, just because I feel so sad for her. Like, she has it, she still has it, and it's, she keeps thinking she's getting better. And, but, like, nighttime, she, every day, she ends up feeling horrible all over again, and it's just really sad, and, you know, it's scary, obviously. So, if you guys could pray for her, that would mean so much. She's, this is going on three weeks now, and that's, honestly horrible like and she has all the symptoms minus the breathing which we're thankful for because that wouldn't that's not cool um she went to the doctor and gave her bronchitis medicine they're treating it at, as bronchitis because her symptoms have lasted so long so they treated it as that but it's not really helping like i think it maybe a little bit it helps her cough but it's not helping like she's still sick she still gets fevers every day like off and on it's so weird so please pray for her but yeah, that is my little update. I just want to let you know that I'm fine and I feel completely better. I'm off of quarantine now, thank God, because it was so frustrating because I had a sinus infections two weeks prior to getting COVID. So I basically was indoors for like a month on top of like quarantine that lasts from, you know, a couple months ago. It's just been a rough summer. Dang. So I feel like I'm in a good mood today because I actually went out and did things yesterday and today um so i'm just like happy just know that if you have it 
some tips for you if you have COVID that I have learned have helped a lot with like me and my mother is vitamin C for sure, um, oregano oil pills, those are very helpful. Sambacol, I think it's called. They're like gummies or they have like tablet forms that you take. And then Tylenol, um, if you have a fever, putting a wet rag on your forehead or getting an ice pack. Lots of water, lots and lots of water or um, like electrolyte drinks. So Gatorade, body armor or liquid IV. Here's my code if you want to get some money off of it. There's a little promo. Yeah, so I'm trying to think of what else we did to help. Just resting, honestly, a lot of resting, which was very, I, I think my brain's a little bit fried because I've watched so many shows and movies, but it's cool. Um, anyways, I don't want to make the talking part too long because of the last video I tried to make of this, I made it like 10 minutes long and like no one wants to sit here and listen to me talk that long. So, yeah, I'm great now. Yesterday, I went out with a friend. Um, we went to Fountain Hills. Um, park by the water and I'm still saying I'm a lot. There's like nobody there We got some Chinese food and then we went on a mountain and hiked a little mountain It wasn't like big or anything and looked at the overview at night and just like saw the city at night And it was just so pretty and I felt so content. I was like I needed this so badly I was getting so stir-crazy just staying inside for so long it gets to you man and then today i just like hung out with courtney and we just got lunch and talked for hours like just talked it was just nice to socialize like i don't i'm not usually someone who talks a lot but when i haven't seen someone in a while like i just can't shut up sometimes so it's been good good day the sad thing is that the gyms are closed again here in arizona which is so sad because it's my happy place and it's shut down and i'm very very sad about it because Obviously, it's my happy place, so I'm gonna have to start working out at home again. Hopefully, it's just gonna be for the month. That's what they've been saying, but we don't know for sure. So that's my talk about COVID and whatnot. I hope everyone else out there is doing well. So yeah, I honestly think I might vlog today and may maybe tomorrow, depending on how much footage I get tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna film. I just kind of felt like, because I haven't felt motivated recently to film anything, but I have like a... Um, burst of energy all of a sudden for some reason so it's like you know might as well while i have energy pull out the camera so um, um, um. okay there's this place i want to show you guys on my parents balcony that i have been i claimed it as my new spot because on the fourth of july we were at home and we didn't go anywhere because obviously my mom was still sick so we sat on our balcony and we live on kind of like a, a hill so you can see out in the distance i'll show you i'll go show you in a minute and you can see like out in the distance and i found this little spot where i can sit and i was sat there the whole time to watch fireworks and it was like so nice so i'm like i'm claiming this new spot to sit and like journal or something at night or just like talk to god or something but i'm gonna show you right now it's so pretty so this is a spot right here i sat right here and just like hung off the side because there's like a roof over here so I like sit over here and then this is the view so you can see i'll try and zoom in out in the distance like so like right there there was like a whole bunch of fireworks so it's kind of cool but yeah new spot i'm in love did you know that i love you so much <laughs> you are the cutest little bean ever Say good morning. <laughs> good morning. How are you feeling today? Good? That's great. What are we gonna do today? Are you gonna go swimming with me? Will you go swimming with me? Is that a yes? I'll take that at the yes. 
Um, it is morning time. I'm currently watching, catching up on some YouTube videos. This is one of my favorite, one of my favorite vloggers. Her name is Kelly Yeager, and yeah, so I'm just watching some of her stuff. And then I'm gonna get up and go swimming or something. We shall see what the day holds. <laughs> up at the good old TJ Maxx and I'm gonna go shop I like really hope that I don't find anything because I don't want to spend money but we'll see got to put the lovely mask on this is I'm not I got this from the nasty gal yep I feel like when I put it on it like it makes me look so funny but it's cool I look like um a ninja or something <laughs> all right I'm going to head on in there, and I don't know why I decided to talk this on, but I'll give you a little haul if I get anything. I literally was just here. When was I here? Last week, I think? No, probably this week. <laughs> Black was a bad color of mask to get because it gets so hot, but anyways, see you in a few. All right, I'm back home now. I didn't find anything at TJ Maxx. I also went to Old Navy, but yeah, I didn't find anything, which is probably a good thing. So then I went to the grocery store and just picked up a few items but I'm back home now and just getting ready to eat some dinner I think we're having pizza tonight so that's exciting love pizza All right now what I think I'm gonna do is because nothing else to really do I'm going to write in my journal guys I'm obsessed with my journal and I'm really sad because I'm running out of pages so this is my journal currently and it's just like super soft it's like a faux I don't know if it's real or they're faux but it's just a jot it down one. I found it at TJ Maxx last year and it's just so cute. And I only have, I'll show you how many pages I have left. This many pages left. Not many. But on the bright side, I bought a new one already just to be ready for when it comes. I don't like this one as much and it's kind of more bulky, but it'll do. So it's the same sort of texture as the last one, like um, leather, faux leather. I don't know. This is by the brand Fringe, but it's also from TJ Maxx, and it was very affordable. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a pink color, and it just says notebook. I'm, like, super picky with notebooks. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of funny. Like, I can't get a notebook that has, like, yellowy pages for some reason. I just can't write <laughs> in them, so they have to be, like, pretty pages, like, white, like, white pages. I don't know if that makes any sense. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know. Or if I'm just crazy, that's okay. I feel like I thought I was gonna do stuff today, so that's why I was gonna vlog today, and then I haven't done anything, so if this vlog, vlog is boring, I truly apologize, and I promise there will be some more fun ones coming up. I'm planning some road trips with my friends, so I'm probably going to Prescott on Monday. That'll be so much fun. And then maybe next week going to Sedona that'll be a blast so i will vlog those for sure yeah i also need to do my quiet time so i've been actually doing this twice a day and it's just really helping me mentally um have a better day i just i just finished the book of ecclesiastes and it was so good like i'll read you one of the verses that i highlighted actually i put it in the vlog earlier i highlighted a vlog i don't know if you could read what it said but i'm gonna read it too because i thought it was a good one Remove sorrow from your heart and put away pain from your flesh because youth and the prime of life are fleeting. So it's like kind of like a backstory I feel like it's mostly about. It's like there's no room for worry. There's no room for fearing all this stuff and, you know, worrying about your job. It's basically like saying live your life. But while it's saying to live your life, it also says, you know, to be careful of what you do. Like be wise, fear God and keep his commandments but not to worry and just like be so caught up trying to make money and like all that stuff. So it's really good.
Okay, so I just got done baking that cake. That was, oh, I literally have chocolate on my screen. That's cute. That took a lot more work than I thought it was going to, and I'm exhausted now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, while I was doing that, a package came in for me, and I'm so excited. So, I ordered some swimsuits off of Shein. And then like one top I think so I'm gonna try them on for you guys and yeah and maybe you can see if you want to buy them or not I don't know but I'm excited so the first one I'm like so out of breath all right so this is the first one I really hope they fit I got them in a size medium because usually you need to size up and it feels really nice okay so it's like um this is so cute I really hope it fits it looks kind of big so this is the top. I think that's so cute. And so it's like white with like gray and black cheetah print, I guess. And then the bottoms are high-waisted. These look huge. I'm really scared that these aren't gonna fit. Okay, well these are also high-waisted bottoms. I like a good high-waisted stom stomach, high-waisted swimsuit. Okay, so these are the bottoms on this one. I, wait, how's this go? These ones aren't as big, but they still look kind of big. Anyways, these are the bottoms. This is just black and white, specked, speckled. And then this is the top. Let's see if I can. Yeah, super cute. Love that. So I'll try it on in a minute. And then lastly, I got this cropped tie dye shirt sort of thing. This is so cute. Okay, so this is what this is. It's just a cropped tie dye shirt. So I'm gonna try these on for you now. You can let me know if you like them or not. And hopefully I like them. Okay, so here is the top. I'm obsessed, it's so cute. It's like super thin and lightweight, but I love it. A plus. This is like the perfect shirt for Arizona summers. Okay, cool. This one is amazing quality. I just kind of wish these are a little bit smaller, but when I get small, they're too small. So I don't know how to win, but it's really cute. Okay, so I thought this one was going to be high-waisted, but it's not, but it's still so cute. One thing I'm glad about is that I have smaller boobs, because if I didn't, these would not fit very well. But this is so cute. I'm literally obsessed with it. Alright guys, well, I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm not going to be doing anything else entertaining enough for to continue vlogging. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely feel better. Um... It feels good to pick up the camera again. And like I said, I'll be making more videos here shortly. What is going on there? Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.